Hello everyone, my name is Stefan. I am a PM on the Remote Desktop Services team. What I want to show you today is how you can use modification packages with MSX Appattach. For context, we're also going to talk a little bit about what modification packages are. We'll talk about how they work with MSX Appattach and mainly how we set up and configure those. Then we'll show you a demo of the end user experience. And finally, I'm going to recap the entire conversation. Uh, so the first thing we got to start talking about is what modification packages offer. And if I uh, loosely quote our documentation, they are a way, a mechanism for us to modify the behavior of an MSX package application without having to touch the main package, meaning the updates, the new functionality comes as a separate package that we can deliver on top of the existing functionality. Now, let's go to a remote machine and here we're gonna go and install the main package and the modification package after it. So the first thing I want to make sure is I don't have the application installed. So a quick check for my employees who yield nothing. Excellent. First thing, I'm gonna go and install the uh, main package. And you can see here, it goes relatively quick. It's a demo application after all. So now if you go and start the application, you can see that I don't have export functionality. After that, I'm gonna go and install the modification package, the plugin. I'll close that and now we'll go back into the main application, my employees. And here, uh, once I start the application, we can see that the export functionality is available to us. That is something that we didn't have in the main application. We didn't have to change the main application. Now that we know how modification packages behave, let's go into the Azure portal and configure a modification package in MSX Appetite. For this, we we'll need to go to a host pool. So I'm going to select one of my test host pools. Now in this host pool, let's uh, quickly take a look at the session host and you can see 1027 is the available one. That will be important later. Moving to the MSX Packages tab. Here, I'm going to navigate to MSX Packages and I obviously will need to add the two packages. So here I'm going to add the parent package first or what I call the parent package. I'll make sure it's active. I'll add it to my host pool. Then I am going to go ahead and do the same for the modification package or the child package. Once this is done, there's one key distinction. The modification package needs to be log on blocking and obviously active. Now that this is configured, I'm going to continue with uh, setting up the application group. Now I want my users to have access. And the way we do that in uh, MSX Appattach is through the desktop application groups. So here, I'm going to see the, my employees. I'll add that one. We'll go then and obviously do the, uh, the plugin. Make sure it's, uh, I specify a different name or a distinction. So let's call it plugin. I'll click save once I'm done. And I will go ahead and make sure that my two packages are here and they are assigned to my users. So let's go again to the application group. We'll go to assignments and we'll check our user. Now that we have the users verified, let's go and see the demo. I'm going to use the web client. Here we'll connect the standard, provide my credentials, wait for session to establish. Uh, we'll connect to a remote machine and here the MSX application and its modification package are delivered through MSX Appattach. And let's go and observe the behavior of the application. Really from end user perspective, the application will behave just like any other locally installed application. And uh, when we start it, we'll be able to see that we have the export functionality. Indeed, it's there. Now, the other thing that I would like to show you that this is a really different machine. So I'm gonna go here, give you my session host name. And this will be for those of you with keener sight, they will notice that the same machine where we set up the MSX app attach. And uh, after that, let's open PowerShell. Actually, let's use it in command prompt. And here I'm gonna issue the get Apex package. And I'm gonna specify the wildcard, my employees. And that will give us uh, only one package, one, one package, because it's a modification package. You can see right here the dependencies. 
And uh, that's it. Uh, we were able to see how we can take a modification package and deliver it via MSX app attach on an existing parent application. Thank you for your time.